French President Emmanuel Macron walked among the ruins of Beirut's port again last week for his second visit there since an explosion last month thrust Lebanon even deeper into an economic and existential crisis from which no one is sure it can ever emerge. The French leader revisited Beirut vowing to never give up on the Lebanese people, leaving many of his own citizens wondering just why is he stepping into what is widely seen as a quagmire. It was intriguing and aroused mixed feelings for the Lebanese public. Under normal circumstances, Lebanon would be annoyed for being subjected to external interference. But Macron was standing in for Lebanon's leadership and dictating them, abusing the pain and troubles of Lebanese people. He was overconfident in front of the cameras, and it was like he saw himself as the savior of the country. He said Lebanese leaders would be sanctioned if reforms are not implemented, as if Lebanon is still a French mandate. Vividly, the future of Lebanon began to look similar to its past, and many started to ask what Macron is planning. Macron then popped for a visit in Baghdad as the first head of state to visit the Iraqi capital since Prime Minister Mustafa al-Qadimi took office. The French president claimed to back Iraq's sovereignty, all the while his U.S. allies still occupy the country. From mediating in the crisis in Lebanon to playing Lawrence of Arabia in Iraq, President Emmanuel Macron aims to fill the vacuum left by an isolationist America to boost France's clout in West Asia. President Macron has seen the vacuum in question as an opportunity. He now acts as if he is Europe's foreign policy leader by default and thinks that he has to run the show because there is a diplomatic relations gap in the Western world. But by trying to court all sides, Macron risks drawing a blank with one of them. Success in Lebanon might burnish his reputation as a consummate negotiator. However, skepticism is brewing about France's ability to play a leading role in West Asia, where the US, Russia and their allies have traditionally called the shots. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.